Alright guys, it's Ghost, and we're back with more Satisfactory. So, last time, we set up the coal power plants. We decoded the hard drive, which taught us a new recipe for screws. So we're able to make those just straight from iron. And... What else did we do? We ended up rerouting some of the conveyor belts and got rid of the old uh, biofuel um, production facilities. So, we're still producing biofuel, as you can see... Or we aren't? Uh-oh, did I screw something up over here, or are we just out of material? Looks like we're just out of material. Alright, that's fine. We don't need the biofuel for much anymore, so if that factory runs on very minimal uh, efficiency, that is fine. Um, so let's see, do we have anything else? We can basically just infinite hard drives, but we don't have that yet. All right, so our current goal is to unlock the steel production queue, but to do that, we have to be able to produce modular frames automatically, because we're gonna need to stockpile a ton of those for the next tier of uh, stuff. So we can make 19 of them right now. Um, so they require iron rods and the reinforced plates. And the reinforced plates require plates and screws. So, let's go take a look at what is our limiting factor on the reinforced plate factory that we currently have so we can build a new one. Let's see, do we have... It looks like the iron plates, it consumes 20 a minute whereas a factory produces 30 a minute. No, 15 a minute. So, if we were to 50% increase our plate production factory, we'd consume 30, which means we could have two of these machines feeding into one. So we have one line to make screws, one line to make bars, Want two lines to make plates, and that should give us the proper efficiency. Now we also can just unlock this next tech tier and get even more efficient miners, which would require our smelters to be able to process twice as much at a time. These ones are actually not processing at their full capacity again because we turned the machines down because they just can't handle that much input. Um, so first off, I think I need to make a miner to see if I can use that rock or that rock. Because I'm going to make it the factory up here, just run the conveyor belt over. Um, squeeze around here. <laughs> need to start making some walkways and stuff to get around the place. Alright. Oh, wow, I have a lot of just raw materials in my inventory. Um, we need to make an auto miner. Boom. All right, and one rebar. Always like to have a full stack just in case I get attacked. Um, so the question is, does that rock prevent us from using that deposit? Which would suck, but I mean, we got another deposit over here. We can just get rid of this ramp we built. Or can we make a... Okay, um, maybe if I build myself a ramp. Huh. What if we need to learn, like, explosives or something to clear this rock? I'm not sure this is supposed to be here. Damn. All right. That's fine. We can just build off of this node over here, then. <clears throat> so let's deconstruct this ramp so we have some room to put the factory over here. Whoop. Careful deconstructing the thing I'm standing on. Now, we do have some cool new things, so let's put a... Let's make sure we have a clear line of sight to the sky. Uh, 
foundation here, and then I think we can... Yes! The stairs will snap the stairs. Sweet. It's a little dizzier, not as direct, but it is a much lower footprint as far as our land uses for getting up here. Oh, that works perfectly. I guess that snaps. Close enough. What is actually up here? Is there anything else good up in this area? There's that riverbed. It's berry bush. I figure exploring, like, up on top of things might find us some, like, new resources and stuff. Um, do I have any... I do not have any parachutes left, so I can't just jump off. Good thing I checked. What I probably can do... Ah! Faster way down. Alright, so, we need to clear this area out. I do not have any biofuel. So let me go get some. Well, at least that'll solve our problem about our uh, biofuel factory not producing anything. I need to start keeping a stock of biofuel way closer, or just in my inventory. Said that these nodes over here are just for more concrete. We really do not need three concrete nodes. Maybe hopefully later there'll be some other use for it. But for right now, it does not do us any favors. I'm going to stash this berry so I have another inventory slot. I'll probably stash a few things. I really like having the rebar gun on me. But I don't really... Well, I don't need the scanner. Or the painter. Um, or the markers. There we go. Just need a bit more inventory space for some chainsaw. Oh, Alright. So let's clear the trees around this node and see what we can't set up for a factory. so we have to actually cut that one. Alright. And maybe we should get rid of this tree over here. Oh, cool. You can actually watch the uh, little icon of the truck move around its route. That's kind of cool. I might actually want to get rid of a few of those waypoints. There's no way to actually turn them off on the map that I've found, so that's something I need to consider in future uh, builds. with that. So let's get this production line going. So, I think the way I want to do it is miner out this way, smelters down to the production stuff that way. So let's crack this rock. Alright. One miner. And then we need a conveyor belt splitter. Put 
followed by two conveyor belt splitters. Lined up nice and neat. Where's my green line? There we are. Alright, we need a tier 2 coming out. Everything else needs only a tier 1. Probably see where the smelters have to go. All right, can we make a bunch of smelters? Do we have the material for them? Oh God, wow! I didn't realize how cheap these things were. All right, let's start here. Line them up. All right, start by setting this smelter up. Get everything nice and neat. There's a sweet spot right there, and I know it. The hell is it lining me up with? Well, the smelter's way over there. Wow. You know, I could solve this entire problem with foundations, couldn't I? lock this stuff down. With foundations. Gives me something to use all that concrete on. Actually don't have a lot of it in my inventory, but we'll get what we can. get too eager clicking and it's not set up yet. There we go. We don't even have to kill the flower. That is nice. Um, and then probably one more. Is that one too floaty? Yeah, let's make that one the taller one. Wow, that's a uh, hell of a snap point right there. There we go. All right, now things we can get hooked up nice and easy because everything will snap. Uh, it's a merger splitter. Can we actually run a conveyor belt? Okay. So the miner, I, I offset this thing incorrectly from the miner, and that's what's going to cause us problems, but that's fine. Oh, it's beautiful how everything is orderly and snapping properly now. Alright. 
right, let's uh, line up all of our smelters before we get anything else going. Wait, what was that over there? Oh, that's the coal power plant. I'm not used to seeing it on that list. Also, we should try making a jump pad sometime. Have a little bit of fun. Uh, what am I looking for? Smelter. Oh, the snapping is so nice. Alright, we need some better foundations. Some ramps so we can actually get up here. Another smelter. All right, let's run our conveyor belt. So we got a three or a tier two in, and then everything else can get tier one. It said it lined up. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, these take cables. I did not know conveyor belts took cables. I guess it's to run the power on them. There we go. Alright. Oh, you need to be smelting iron ingots for me. Now, I can free up some inventory space by seeding you with half a stack output. So I don't need those bars in my inventory. Alright. Hmm. I don't know if I want to lower the level now. Or if I want to just keep building up here. Well, let's keep it up. Alright, I'm gonna need, yeah, I have enough for one more foundation, so let's go get some more concrete. Oh, that is cool. I've never noticed that it actually, like, sits there and, like, builds the, uh... Okay, that's not what we're producing, but that's kind of cool that it's, you know, putting things together up there for me. like our cables. Wow, we have two boxes full of cables, so that's uh, nice. Let's get two stacks of you. We'll put the biofuel back in here. We'll get two stacks of you. We actually have enough stuff to almost launch this thing. Um, wow. Wow. That is a lot of rotors already produced. So why don't we look? Our plates are full? All right, well this we definitely want to have a uh, additional thing for. So let's dismantle that and get ourselves a storage unit. Because the plates are one of the ones that we need just a ton of all the time for everything. That's definitely one we don't want uh, running full. And then I can go over here, dump off. Yeah, that stuff is regrowing because I'm pretty certain I cleared all this stuff out over here. Dump this into our biofuel production facility. 
need to get like a assembly line set up to automate the paint things, but I honestly don't use them very much. get some of this stuff loaded in since we were filled up on storage of it. There we go. Are we overproducing the, the rods? Holy shit. Okay, that's consuming 18 a minute. What are we pumping out? 15 a minute. I guess it's still screw limited? Eh, whatever. It's working pretty efficiently. I already, I trust we already optimized that well enough. Alright. Now, since these smelters are here, we can have them uh, start smelting stuff for us. Oh, cool, we can get all the walkways and stuff like that. Um, foundations. Oh, I guess that did snap. Then I'm going to have to drop down whatever's left on this factory, because uh, it's getting a bit high off the ground. Okay, so, what I wanted to do was we needed to make plates and rods. So this one down here is going to produce our rods. Then we're going to have two of these guys producing the metal plates. And then this one will produce the screws. Using our new alternate recipe, which is much better. So then we should only need a single assembler. No, we're going to need an assembler for the hardened plates, and then the rods. Hmm. Okay, so, what we're gonna need to do is put a new power pole. It's a little bit more space so that we don't have to deal with, uh... Oh, we're actually getting wood from the, uh... Just random stuff we're grabbing off the ground. Don't expect to get wood from that. Alright, there we go. So let's extend our foundations. I honestly kind of don't care about wasting the concrete right now, because it's uh, pretty cheap to make. And we got, like, a near-infinite supply of it. ramps. It's not being able to get up on top of our foundations is a bad thing. Make that look all pretty. Okay, so then we need a set of assemblers. 
which we have, we're two rotors short. Ah! Yoink. Nope. All right, I'll yoink it when it's down lower, when I can actually reach it. I don't have to run all the way over if I just take them right off the conveyor belt. Yoink, yoink. Nature trying to grow in my factory? No, thank you. So how's our power supply do? Oh yeah, we got tons for these machines. All right, so we need an assembler for the plates. Then an assembler for the final product. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run these sideways down here. So that way. shape, so that's too close. Alright, we need to back that one up a little bit. So that'll feed into there. belt. All right. Um So what we want to do is have the merger thing be right before the input. Maybe I want to move a extra foundation out here. Getting power, everything getting power. Cool. All right, and then we can put a merger to add our two plate ramps into one plate ramp. organize these guys a little bit better with the conveyor poles. Can I not get half angles on these things? Okay, um... It is way too steep. Yep. Do that. Let's try these new poles out. How can we... Set these up. Oh, we have to put them, okay, on a base. No? Oh, that 
that's how they work. All right, that's uh, less convenient than what I was looking for. Okay, let's actually consider this, because maybe I don't need to have this merger thing here. So what is your production rate? 15 a minute. No, I don't need the merger down here. I could put the merger back farther. Which will make things much easier. Now, if I were to put a pole, can I stick a merger on the pole? up the down escalator. Wow, you cannot run up the down escalators. <clears throat> Speaking of which, we probably should put a... Uh, I guess staircase? What was that under? Hmm, that doesn't go up high enough. All right. We're not going to need to be up here very much, so I'm not too concerned. Is that locked in? Did they just actually straight snap? All right. Okay, we're going to play a little funny here. Now we can use this stacker thing. I think I just tried to make this a little too compact as far as the factory goes. Actually, we need to use the Mark IIs on this one. Built all this too close. Or, or, ah, I figured out how we could do this. You are not on screws, you are on plate duty. So we make this two, these two the plates, we can make this one the screws, then we don't have to worry about it. machine in the way? Oh. Alright, new plan. Solve all of these problems just by being a little bit more 
generous with our positioning. Tried to get too damn fancy with everything. where we screwed up. do is we'll just have a little looping stuff going on here. So, uh, we need an assembler that's going to be fed by these, you know, we could just make, okay, here's the plan. This will make things much easier. This guy makes the rods, the one at the very end over here makes the screws. Then we can put an assembler between these three. Out of concrete. Luckily, there's a near infinite supply sitting on this belt. All right. There we go. Now, an assembler. Turned out to be a lot bigger project than I thought it was going to be. Well, that cuts down into my staircase. And we can have our conveyor belt merger thing here. Wow, that did not line up at all. turn the right way.
This is the most frustrating thing to build down a... F you know what? Why build down a floor? We're doing this anyway. Let's build up. You have like a stack I can take out of yeah, that makes things easier. I'm trying to take things off the belt when I can just take them right out of the inventory. I don't have to move the stupid things down a level and deal with that crap if I just don't build down a level. Such a simple solution. Okay, so a, a hundred stack goes by real quick. Luckily I'm almost done, so I can just keep taking out of that. All right, now things will go a little bit more smoothly. Yeah, good enough. Actually, probably not. I need 24 total. Why do I have six stairs left is what I want to build. Whoops. Alright. I'm glad I built down in the plains to start, because this is a lot harder to build up on top of. I am one short of what I think I need, right? Oh no, that was enough. Okay, cool. I'm gonna need more for the power poles and stuff, but I can get another stack by that time. Alright. Now then, you three are gonna feed into this assembler. I'm just not gonna have an issue merging that, because I'm going to place it here. Here. So that way it's easier to merge in. Okay, so now we put tier three lines in, tier three line out, tier three line in, or tier two line, I guess. Boom, okay, that machine is now going to take screws and plates and make me the reinforced iron plates. Then, can we even fit another assembler over here? We're being dumb. That's why we built all the way over here. We put the assembler down over here. This way. Ah. 
Perfect. Now it can assemble things properly for us. All right, so that'll be making our plates, which produces five a minute, but we're going to overclock this thing. And then we'll put another assembler right over here. Might be a little tight of a turn. Let's see if we can get this thing wired up right. Might as well just use Mark II belts for all of this stuff. Okay, we can make a straight U shape there. Cool. Too much of a turn. All right. You know what? We don't even need these poles. We'll just mark to it straight in. And then mark two from here. We need more plates. Of course we do. That's what we get for using mark twos everywhere. This thing will make our modular frames. It consumes 12 reinforced plates a minute. This thing only produces five. It only needs 24 iron rods a minute. Oof. We'll have to fudge with some stuff. It's going to take a little while to get this optimized because it's such a complex thing. Let's get some ramps in. Can't afford the ramps either. Alright, we're just going over for a supply run. This has been a very complicated project, so I can't wait to see what the next tier tier tiers are. Most of my trouble has just been sorting the damn thing. Why is that standing there? All right. Yeah, all right, what else do we need? We need a, we got stacks of those. We got plenty of stacks of the, the, those. Let's get two stacks of concrete. So we're gonna have to do power poles. Uh, we're good on that. Um, our cabling should be good. All right. Then we can use some fancy conveyor stackers and stuff to uh, start organizing the piping system. Or the conveyor system. There we are. Much more organized. Love it. Okay. We need tier two out. And then only tier one out of here. And then we can just run this thing sky high over the factory and that'll look awesome. All right, let's get power hooked up. So this will be our power pole input point. All right, so we're going to need Oh, we need to put uh, conveyor belts here. Why don't we use the good ones? Actually, no, because you guys can only produce 30 a minute. Yeah. Even overclocked, you guys don't need the good ones. Now we put the power poles down.
need four of these guys. Yeah. And then one in a nice little line here. This one connects to that pole, the previous pole, previous pole. All right, you get that smelter, that processor, you get that smelter and that processor, you get that smelter and that processor, and you've got those two. Nice. That should be everything. Split and flow in all the right ways. What the? Oh! You should not be making screws. You need to be making plates, because we need twice as many plates. Interestingly, the conveyor merger will merge... Uh, Things from two different stuff, or uh, two different sources, so that's cool. And it actually doesn't care that you get a unique feed into that, so we can learn from that in the future. Okay, so you are, wow, we are vastly, it's consuming 20 a minute, and we're pumping 30 a minute into it, so it's already backed up on plates. So let's get overclocking. I think we have at least one slug left. If not, we're gonna have to go on a slug quest. Yep, yep. I am gonna have to work on this walkway. <laughs> Do any power slugs left? We have one. Oh, I love it. The conveyor belts are starting to get so complicated. I have to, like figure out a path around them. All right, 120 per minute screws. 90 per minute being produced, so we're actually needing to overclock our screw maker again. but the screws are being consumed at 180 per minute. Oof. So now our screws are our slowing point. All right. Um, we need to get some more power slugs. Or I could just take some power slugs from the production things down here that don't really need them as badly. are moving along so smoothly and efficiently. There's, I really wish there was a way to tell where you put your damn uh, overclockers. Definitely not in here. No, oh, no. Apparently my... Oh, my iron rod production. Yeah, screw that. So if you are only consuming... 22.5 iron per turn minute. No, because you're only consuming 15 at normal input, so you only need to be producing 15, so you can do a 50%. All right, just take it. There we go. Also, rods are filled up again. Well, we're gonna unlock uh, the new stuff pretty soon, so it's not a huge deal for that. All right, so we can overclock our screws now. We only have one of these things? Yeah. We actually need to double overclock this thing. 
Let's go see if we can't track down a slug then. No, nope, I don't have my scanner with me. There's got to be a slug nearby that we can reach. It's just a little bit of adventure, considering we've been just conveyor belt hell <laughs> all episode. All right. Um, yeah, we do not have any spare slugs. All right, let's take our berry stack so we at least have some food. Oh, hey, the moon came up. I was like, the hell? We got a spotlight coming on us. Um, and we need our scanner. All right, power slug. One over this way. Up in the hell over there? All right. Let's go up and around. Or go this way. Oh, I bet you you're all the way up top, aren't you? Yep, there's one of them up here. Uh, how much concrete do we have on us? I think we can build our way up here. Oh, yeah. I think you can hide from me, Power Slug, but you can't. I can build anywhere and disassemble anywhere. And get dizzy by going up these stairs. into solid platform. <laughs> really? You were right here? Ugh. Didn't need to build my giant staircase after all. Luckily, we can dismantle from any range as well. It's nice to be able to just walk towards something rather than having to run right next to it to dismantle. Just have to be very careful not to look at the space elevator behind this thing. Alright. Get our scanner back out. Spawn back up there? Alright. Go. Ah, is this jump right around this? Oh, fucked it up. Ah, I should probably eat some berries. So I can make the jump properly. There we are.
up. Saying it's that way. Is there an like, underwater cave or something? Oh no, I don't know how to swim up. Ah. Hmm. Weird. All right, well we got one, so that'll get us to double overclock on our screws. Need to make a ladder to get out of the damn lake. See, like a. I don't know where that one is. Alright. Well, that's fine for right now. We can just make this one. And then we can super clock the screws, which should speed up the plate production, which will speed up everything. Now, it is using 30 iron per minute in, producing 180, which the conveyor belt cannot keep up with. But once we get tier 3 belts, we'll be able to do this, so it's producing 7.5 plates per minute. give this thing a stack so it can get going. This thing is using 12 per minute. So, alright, so if it's taking 7.5, let's scale this thing back to Seven point two. That's needing fourteen iron rods a minute. What is this thing producing? Fifteen a minute. So, all right. You know what? This machine. Let's put this at full power. It, if it drains a little bit more out of our power lines, like we're way below the cap anyway. And this is our final production thing, so we want it to produce more. Oh, I never hooked this thing up. Um, whoops. Okay, um, let's give it somewhere to go. Or actually, let's unlock steel. Let's get our next tech tier unlocked so that we, we have our goals for next time. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. And we need even more storage units. Although, we're going to have... Alright, so Foundry. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots. Can be automated by feeding ore into the conveyor belt connected to the inputs. Produced ingots can be automatically extracted. Yep. Let's get some storage containers. Now, we actually have the ability to get even better storage containers. So, I'm gonna, these are just going to be kind of temporary, but I need a place to put them. And then... Bigger pull there. Now, how high can we make a conveyor pole? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 
Um, I don't know how we're going to route this stuff. Because, uh, yeah, well, we can just put it down here. Make ya. Okay, that encroaches clearance. Super highway of uh, transport lines now. Luckily, these more advanced products don't need any of the fancy conveyor belts, we can just use the cheap sheets for them. I lock onto. What the? All right, now we need to start getting these things up, up, up. down. Boom. Alright, we now have automated successfully the random frame thing. What's it called? Modular frame. Which we're probably going to need like ten bajillion of. Um, yeah, we need five hundred of these things to unlock the next set of tiers. And then motors. I didn't need that to be that high, but it looks kind of cool. Or maybe... Let's drop this pole down one and see if it still works. Now it doesn't have to be super sky high. It's more fun watching the conveyor belts kind of cross near each other. At least I think so. Alright, so, what do we have unlocked in our steel hub? Alright, so there's conveyor belt mark 3 as our next goal, but we need 50 rotors for that. So, and that gets us a storage container that has 48 slots... So we can get even more filled in on them. Alright, so we get the better miner. We got the foundry. Smelts two resources into ingots, which allows us to make the steel ingot. Steel ingot costs both... Oh my god, there's steel ingots that go to steel beam, steel pipe. Oh my gosh. Alright, so how, how do these things work? Steel ingot is three coal, three iron. Steel beam is three steel. 
steel pipe is one steel. Okay, so those are both products. So that's like the plates and the um, rods. The encased beam. Oh, we finally have a use for concrete. Hallelujah. So we can go crank up our... We can take our uh, concrete machine off a of half power and actually have it producing full time. Considering it takes five concrete for, well, four of those. So, I mean, still, I think we can overproduce it. Then the static part of the motor takes three pipes and some wire. Good, we have a, finally a wire sink, so maybe the copper stuff will get cranked up. The rotor takes two rotors and two of those. Wow. And the heavy modular frame takes a bit of steel screws and the modular frames we're making. Lovely. All right, so, uh, yeah, and also we need to make sure we go and look for more, uh, slugs and things, because we're gonna need to overclock and efficiently improve our entire place. Nothing new on our research list, but maybe we're gonna need to do some, uh, oh, those are very shiny. Um, maybe we're gonna have to do some journeying and adventuring, so that way we can kick this production up a bit, because, uh, it could certainly use it. We can see if we can get just a little bit more production out of that line. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time on More Satisfactory.